Aul. Well, Shalom in all of Jah's homes. Shabbat Shalom, Sendet Salam, Bene Ras Yadinos Tefari. Greetings, this is Wendem Yadon again. And if the reports that we're hearing are correct, there's supposed to be a phenomenal event to occur within the next 24 to say 48 or so hours. And this is the Shabbat, this is May 19th. And the reports are that there's to be a phenomenal solar eclipse. We say a phenomenal solar eclipse because most solar eclipses um, are able to be um, charted. There's a certain regularity to the heavens. The heavens is a divine clockwork. And as we get deeper into the Torah and we start to study it for ourselves, we'll see that that divine clockwork. In other words, we nowadays in this present world system, we tell time by so-called atomic time. And atomic time is very subjective. In fact, minutes and seconds are being added to it all the time because there is something phenomenal that's happening in creation at this time. We call it prophecy. Others call it phenomena. But there's a phenomenal solar eclipse that will be seen from the West. Not in the East where we're at presently, but in the West Coast of America, this particular solar eclipse, a phenomenal solar eclipse, because it's unanticipated. In fact, this is why there's so much buzz on it, is because it was not part of the anticipated eclipses of the sun and the moon, which happen in a certain regularity, which therefore they can be charted, they can be anticipated, so forth and so on. But this particular solar eclipse, why there's such a buzz on it among some of the scientists and astronomers, so forth and so on, is that it's not part of the regularity of solar eclipses. So this is one reason why we wanted to um, speak a few words on this, and those who are on the, um, the West Coast of America and the brothers and sisters who are out in, you know, the Far East, speaking of Asia and Australia, um, look for it, but also, you know, take the precautions that are necessary if you are seeking to view a solar eclipse with so-called naked eyes. So just make sure you, you know, check out how to really view a solar eclipse and, you know, not to look directly at a solar eclipse. Um, this is very, very interesting because um, as we've been um, preaching and proclaiming and, and, and teaching from the scriptures, there would be these sort of signs within the heavens as well as signs on the earth. So the whole connection between the prophetic signs that are happening and we're witnessing on earth as well as these unexpected phenomenons, phenomenons such as the signs in the heaven, the solar eclipse coming up um, between this the 19th and the 20th. I think they have it scheduled um, for the 20th. And also there was supposed to be an um, a unmanned satellite launch called um, X-Falcon, something to that effect, um, a private um, satellite and um, to, to meet up with the whole space station and some robotic arms, so forth and so on. And that was canceled because of some unexplained complications. And it's kind of interesting if you check out the vid where they're counting down like three, two, one. Uh, I guess there won't be in the launch. You know, there won't be any launch or something like that. It's, it's a really interesting clip. I just caught it one time, so forth and so on. So I just want to bring this forward to, you know, the, the brotherhood and the, the members and the faithful and other curious folks bring it to your attention, something that ones really, really need to check out 
um, concerning this soul eclipse and what's the meaning of it. Well, the scriptures already said that it would be days like these, you know, days like these. Now, check out our vid on Daniel's vision, as well as the corresponding information from um, a Christian organization called the Keys of David, and their vids are also online, Keys of David, concerning the prophetic beast, concerning um, Nahum's prophecy, uh, as well as um, a recent vid that was speaking about the whole Euro and this whole axis, the, the Franco-German axis that has now been changed to a line in 2012, similar to um, 1936. So anyway, my brothers and sisters, check it out for yourself. A little more to come. We're going to continue with the sabbatical portion for this, this week's reading and feeding, and we're going to deal with Emor, or Emor Amor, um, to speak, which is the 31st portion as we now complete the book of Leviticus or the Orit Ze Lewawian in the Royal Amharic, also known as uh, Vayikra. So stay tuned, brothers and sisters. Shalom Ras Tefari. <laughs>